welcome to Waz Watch Detox. Now what this is, is I've seen a ton of movies over the past few months, few weeks, and I just have not had the time to do full reviews of these movies, but I didn't want that great movie going experience and just my thoughts on these movies to kind of just go to waste. So I'm just doing really quick, brief uh, summaries of a ton of these movies. So this episode, we are going to be taking a look at Victor Frankenstein. It was directed by Paul McGeehan, and it was kind of interesting. I heard a lot of buzz coming out about this movie before it kind of hit theaters, and then it kind of just whimpered into theaters. Uh, I heard, you know, oh wow, it has great actors, and it's kind of this new look at a younger Frankenstein and Igor as like a like person instead of just some um, hunchback henchman. And it just felt like an exciting twist on a story that we've heard for years and years and years and years. It was very fun and creative. I did like the fact that they kind of took some liberties with the story and with Igor and with uh, Dr. Frankenstein himself and the Frankenstein monster and just that whole plot that they felt like it was a good uh, chance to try to change it up and do some things different. It was fun. It had some humorous moments uh, just to see kind of uh, Dr. Frankenstein and kind of his warped mentality and what he thought was so beautiful with this resurrecting uh, dead tissue and making it alive again. But it stopped short of being a really good film because it just turned into an unwanted action movie. It just fell into the kind of super easy, what's the most, ugh. it just, there. this movie could have been really good. I think that if it would have taken the liberties and kind of just kind of went its own way, it would have been such a good movie, but it just fell into like this Sherlock Holmes ripoff thing where it's sort of this steampunk New, oh, we're going to dress in old clothes but talk like modern people and then they fight Frankenstein's monster at the end and it's just, it. they try to wrap in some sort of love story interest and it's just rough. I mean, it was really creative and I think that it just felt like they chickened out a little bit, that they had this really cool idea and this really cool vision and these really cool actors, and then they're like, uh, but it's not a blockbuster, and, you know, it's not a popcorn movie, fine. And so they just threw in a bunch of really lame jokes and action scenes and chase scenes, and it just sort of was like, eh, it just kind of became really forgettable. So I think that if they would have corrected a few of those things, uh, especially uh, the end and the climax, if they would have just changed that a little bit and just had more liberty and more fun with it instead of just falling into that Sherlock Holmes ripoff action movie, this could have been really good. But it kind of left me... Ugh. I mean, it was okay. Uh, I'm going to give it a C-. minus. I thought that it was good, it had potential, and it was fun at parts, but then it just kind of fell into this niche of action wannabe, kind of too smart for its own good movie, and so I'm going to give it a C-. minus. Well, that's my review of Victor Frankenstein. What did you think? Did you see it? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. And my question for you today is what monster movie would you like to see updated? We've seen some Draculas and Wolfman a few years ago, but would you like to see a good adaptation of? Maybe it is Wolfman or Dracula or maybe even another Frankenstein or the monster from the lagoon. I don't know. You tell me. What monster movie would you like to see a good adaptation of? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. We really do appreciate that. Once again, I am Matt Wazbinski, and thank you for watching.